Man, the hostel was great. Yeah, the hostel was awesome. Uh, the hostel was cool, man. There's a lot of cool guys. The hostel is a very nice place. The hostel is like perfect. You know, if you come to San Diego, the best place to be. Go to the beach and feel like a home. It was just a really cool environment. Dave was like a super big help, man. Everything that we needed, he was a man to do it. Dave, he does doing everything for us. Very nice guy. I make some new friends in the hostel. Good people there. You've got the couches outside. Uh, you got your basketball court, which is nice for a bit of leisure time. Take the basketball goal down because the basketball is a stupid sport. And I've already talked to Dave about coming up and staying again for a camp for Worlds. Come a week or two early, do a camp, stay at the hostel. Before major competitions, I'll always be coming to the hostel now because you need a week or so to acclimatize the jet lag and for sure be here for every major comp now. You just gotta experience it. Call up the BJJ hostel and come down and go put yourself in the grind like all the rest of us did this week and, and experience it. That's all I can, that's all I can say. San Diego is the place I wish I could move to. It's such a nice area, you know, and Dave showed us a lot of it. We ate at some really cool places, and Sal and Shanji brought me to a cool sushi spot. So, man, San Diego's the place to be. It was awesome, man. Sal and Shanji are amazing people, and I've never met two people that live what they preach so hard, you know, the warrior's way and how to think tough. When they look at you and they say, hey, man, this is what you should have done, and this was messed up, you, you really take it to heart because you know that's what they would have done in that situation. Yeah, it's a really beautiful place. Very hot, very nice people here. Just that very relaxed atmosphere. Everybody seems to be happy, high on life. It's been a brilliant time. Next time, lots of surf. All right. That's Saulo shouting from the hot tub. <laughs> Crazy man. <laughs> he told me I need to believe in myself more and make more of a commitment to myself and achieve what he thinks I can achieve. He thinks I'm letting myself down and I could be a champion like he is. So it's, it's lovely to know that he has faith in me. I am determined to go back and, and train more than I've ever trained before. Oh, San Diego is fantastic. I love it. You know, if it was up to me, I'd call my wife and kids up now and move us all down here. The place is incredible. People are friendly. The beach is nice. The water feels good. You know, I want to move down as soon as we got here. I don't like any of those other guys. They're all a bunch of spoiled little punks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, these guys are great, man. They're, they're all champions. They're all great champions. Got a bunch of new friends. That's it. Yeah, you know, I learned some jujitsu. But I already, I already know how to win and lose. That's easy. When you meet people this genuine, that only happens a few times in your life. You get to experience the grind like that and be there side by side with them the whole time. And then get to beat the crap out of each other. There's nothing better than that. Yeah, I love the city, man. San Diego is the best place in the California, so I love too much here. And probably later I can move to live here because I got friends in there, man. You know, met some guys, new guys, and know about more the Shande and Saulo Ribeiro, so the guy's awesome, man. I learned a lot of things here, man. How to be a champion, how to be a samurai, you know. So for me, it's a victory. Jiu-Jitsu, for everybody, everybody's is friendly. I love that thing in Jiu Jitsu, you know? Everybody's friendly, it's so nice, it's awesome.